Good evening. I'm standing in front of my china cabinet because I am today doing the very last, last task of the holiday season. And that is replacing the china that I had on my bookcase um, back to its original place. During the holidays, I have all kinds of holiday items on the bookcase and now I'm finally getting all the things back where they should be. So I moved my Balik collection, my Balik China collection from the bookcase to the China cabinet. And I want to show you a little bit of my Balik collection uh, of China. I love it, first of all. <laughs> Balik is a very particular kind of China made in Northern Ireland in uh, the city of Balik. Uh, it's in uh, Fermanagh County and the Balik Pottery Factory started in 1849 when a gentleman bought, he actually didn't buy, he inherited land from his father and the Great Famine um, had just subsided in Ireland and he was looking for employment for his tenants. And so he did um, a mineralogy test, he was kind of a mineralogist, on his land and found that it was had a lot of very rich minerals and so he decided that he would um, start a pottery plant. So he built a um, railroad into into the property so that they could uh, and 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 so they could get kilns there, and also that they could transport the pottery back and forth. So that was the beginning of Balik, 1849, and it has. Um, been there ever since and produced pottery since then. The most coveted pieces of Balik are uh, the first black mark, which are those that were made in Balik during that very first period. So let me show you a little bit of my collection to start with. So this is the most common kind of Balik. It's called the shamrock pattern. And um, this is called the harp shamrock. You can tell it's the harp shamrock because it has kind of the three uh, um, curvatures and on the bottom you can see it's a green mark so that tells you when it was made the green mark is not particularly old but still um, vintage here's another uh, another kind of shamrock piece different kind of a cup there's all different kinds of cups and mugs this also has a green mark now let's take a look inside my china cabinet. I'll show you the Balik that I have on my bookcase. This is probably my most rare piece of Balik china. It is in the Tridacna pattern and Tridacna is a kind of a mollusk, a sea creature. And a lot of the Balik um, imitates the patterns of sea creatures. It's very interesting, you'll see. So you can see that it has like little, oops, little mollusks here, a little seashell on the top. But the most, and, and on the bottom you can see like the coral holding it up. But the most interesting thing about this teapot is when you open it up on the inside, it tells you how to make tea. It says, um, fill with water, blood warm, and allow it to stand a few minutes, empty and use with boiling water. So they tell you how to use this very particular kind of china. And if you look on the bottom, this has a black mark. So this is a very, very early teapot. And it's a teapot for one. Now, Balik China is known for its very fine and very thin porcelain. And it is sometimes has an iridescent sheen to it. This one doesn't particularly have an iridescent sheen. Um, but that is something that, that uh, characterizes the Balik. So that goes back on the bookshelf. And then um, over here, I have a larger teapot. And this I have on a riser, on a plastic riser. This is the limpet pattern, because also, also named after a mollusk. <laughs> uh, 
I love this. Robert gave this to me uh, one Christmas. We'd gone into an antique shop and um, I saw it and I said, oh, I just love that so much. And it, came, it comes with cups, I'll show you the teacups. And the uh, top was repaired, but it's a beautiful, a beautiful piece. It's not particularly rare, but still beautiful. And um, so we left, I bought a present for someone. And then on Christmas morning, he had gone back and bought the, the pot and all of the cups. I cried, <laughs> so sweet. This does not have the very special interior. Um, and uh, I, I don't remember, but I, this is not a black mark pot, but very special. So that'll go on the bookcase. And then let me just show you some teacups. So these are the teacups that match that limpet pot. You can see how fine they are. You can almost see through them. And this is a black mark. So this is a very early, a very early cup, 1800s. You can just, you can hear how fine they are. Mm, they're so thin and beautiful. Now, uh, when he bought this set for me, uh, there was, I think, six cups and six saucers, and one of the saucers was this. Now that is not the same. It looks like the same. Somebody was trying to pass it off as the same, but it's not. This is different. This is the, um, let's see. This is the tridacna, tridacna, also a kind of a mollusk. Tridacna pattern. And the other little teapot, this one is called the Achinus pattern, also a mollusk. So that is the Belief collection. You can see I have lots of other gorgeous things, Lamona Saab there. And um, then the last, well, here I do have this one last piece here. Robert bought this for me. For our anniversary. Balik is known for its beautiful baskets with the threading here and the weaving. Isn't this gorgeous? And the roses have an iridescent sheen to them. You would use this for a bread basket. I just use it for decoration because it's so gorgeous. And it reminds me of my gorgeous husband. All right, I'm going to put them all on the bookcase and show you the display. Before I show you the display, I did want to show you that Balik is really a collected uh, kind of china. And in fact, I belong <laughs> to the UK Balik Collectors Group. And I get this once a quarter, a newsletter. It's very thick and has all these lovely pictures and history of different pieces of Balik. And there's a lot of people that just have hundreds and hundreds of pieces. So I have lots of newsletters like this. I, I once went on an, um, a uh, Zoom meeting with the Belique Collectors where we had a quiz. I, I wasn't very good at the quiz, but it was fun to participate in. And then I have, this is kind of one of the Bibles of Belique. And um, this gentleman, Richard Dagenhart, was one of the first uh, important collectors of Balik. So there's a lot to it and there's a lot of beauty and rare, rare pieces. And if you look on eBay for Balik, B-E-L-L-E-E-K, you will see that um, there's lots of things to start collecting. So um, in my family, we are quite a bit Irish. And so Robert's uh, mom was 100% Irish and uh, my grandmother was 100% Irish, and uh, my father was 50% uh, Irish. So um, we have a lot of Irish in our family, and because of Irish step dancing and all of our roots, and because we went to St. Patrick's grade school together <laughs> and did the jig every March 17th, uh, Balik is special to me for lots of reasons. So here they are all back on the bookcase and all's right with the world. And you know, when this quarantine is over, you should come over and have a cuppa with me.